Hello everyone. Today we'll be installing WordPress on our Omnis hosting account. As you can see, we've already opened the welcome email and we'll begin by clicking on the link for the account manager. We'll log in. And here you can see the Omnis account manager. We'll go down to the website section and click on the icon for install popular scripts. We'll click the select button. We'll go to the blog section and under WordPress we'll click on install. We'll click continue and here you can see the form we'll need to complete in order to install WordPress. We'll begin with the selection of a base URL and the domain name here is correct so we'll leave that field as is. Next is installation directory as we would like WordPress to be the content management system for the entire website we're going to leave this form field blank. That will install WordPress into the root directory. Admin username. Admin is fine. We'll paste a secure password here. And here. Note here that we once tried using the Omnis Generate Password tool and it created a password with special characters that was rejected by the WordPress installer. Why you would generate passwords that aren't accepted by your WordPress installer is beyond us, but uh, we did not use any special characters in our passwords here. Next is the admin email, and our email address here is correct. Next, we'll agree to the terms and conditions. And finally, we'll click on the Finish button. The message tells us that our script installation has been added to the queue, and the system will notify us via email when the WordPress installation has been completed. So we're going to pause the video now, and we'll come back when we've received the email. Hello again, everyone. We're back we received the package installation email approximately three minutes after we paused the video. You can see it here on the screen and we'll resume by clicking on the link for WP Admin and logging into the WordPress dashboard. We'll log in And here you can see our new WordPress dashboard. From this screen, we can control all aspects of our WordPress site. To create a new post, we simply go to Plus, New, Post. Add a title for our post here. Add our content here. And click the Publish button. But we won't be creating a new post today. We're simply going to visit our new WordPress site by using the Visit Site link at the top of the dashboard. And here you can see our new WordPress blog. It's a little bit ugly, but we can change the theme using the WordPress dashboard. We can also delete the default Hello World post using the dashboard. I'd like to thank you for watching this video and invite you to visit NCM online for web hosting reviews, coupon codes, and more.